Hey guys, what's up, Adumi Gang? I hope you're all having an amazing day because I'm having an amazing day. So if I'm having an amazing day, you all should be having an amazing, happy day. We are heading to the Toronto show right now. We have around two hours. Finally, we're gonna be early. Toronto, we are early for you guys, so let's see how it goes. But before we go, we're gonna go eat real quick. Then after that, we're gonna go to the show. I miss you guys, Toronto, so much. It's almost been a whole year, and you guys always turn up. So today, I'm gonna be doing an Instagram Live at the show. This is the first time ever I'm doing an Instagram Live. I'm only gonna show like five, 10 minutes of it. That's all, and I also got this pin right here is a Syrian flag when you guys gave it to me so thank you guys so so much for that representing I miss you we out you yo Toronto's lit Toronto holds it down every time so I feel like it's gonna be a dope dope show oh let's let check out this leave. so Nas it's and slim they're in Eaton Center at the mall eating and I decided to go eat at a shisha lounge instead because I need me some quick shisha before the show so it's Slim and Nas, they're all gonna meet us at the Shisha Lounge and after that, we're gonna go to the show. It's also pretty, pretty cold here in Toronto. I can't believe it's May. It feels like it's freaking February over here in Canada. This is insane, man. But I'm not gonna lie, one place that I would move, that I would wanna move, is Canada, Toronto, Canada. People are so nice, it's so clean, everyone is so chill, it's just, the money is so cool, everything is just so, so dope here. So one place that I would move in North America is Toronto, Canada. That'd be, that'd be so lit, bro. You sure? Yeah. Why? What do you mean, why? This is, you got a lot of fans here, first of all. Well, what did they find out where's my house? Huh? Then you keep moving around. <laughs> keep moving around. <laughs> Toronto's lit, bro. You gotta, you gotta live in Canada. Screw US. <laughs> Nibble got the most funniest answers ever, bro. He's the man. Should have brought this with lemon. What'd you guys eat? I'm so happy. <laughs> guys, our show is like in an hour, and we're here, <laughs> and like as each alone eating. I'm gonna come but we're gonna to be early. Toronto, I can't wait to see you guys today. Do me, gang. We're heading to our show right now. It starts seven o'clock. It's six thirty, so we're gonna make it on time. Let's go, Toronto. We gonna see how it goes. Hey, yippee yeah, yeah, we're on our way. Toronto! Guys, we just got done with the Toronto meet and greet and the Toronto show. This was literally insane. I think Toronto is up there with New York City yeah. and London. Toronto definitely, is wild. Well, how crazy how, how is Toronto? Toronto is number one for me, man. Really? Yeah, Toronto. It goes Toronto, London, nah, Dubai, nah, 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 nah. London, Dubai, New York. Nah, nah, Toronto, yes. I, I don't know, because Kuwait, I can't choose. Maybe at the end of the tour, I'll have like a, a list of top 10, like crazy ones. Toronto but, you know, is, you know, you know, Toronto, Toronto like, number one. The owner of this venue just said, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know, the guy from yeah. Titanic, the said he came to this venue, he performed like, other like a couple months ago, no she said the fans here were crazier than the ones yeah. in wow. Leonardo. That's you guys were seriously so insane. They were about to shut down this whole venue. show, and then, 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 then like, I, yeah, <laughs> they were booing the owner of the venue. But I was like, that's all good, you know, like so you, because you guys were just insane in a good way. We had so much fun. We turned up. Thank you, Toronto. We're about to head to Dearborn right now. We're gonna see you guys in the next shot. And do me, gang. I am in my hotel here in Michigan tomorrow. Well, not even tomorrow. Like in a couple hours. I am performing in Dearborn, Michigan. We're right now staying in a place like 
an hour away from Dearborn. A lot has happened this past couple hours, so right now it's gonna be a story time. Adam talk, it's literally insane what's happening right now. Our DJ for the shows, DJ It's. He lost his passport in Canada, so he couldn't go into America. So now he is stuck in Canada, I do not know what he's gonna do, but he cannot come to the rest of this tour. It's literally so crazy because losing your passport is like a really big deal. Like you're supposed to go home and I don't know how he's gonna get home to the UK now, but hopefully he gets there safe inshallah. But now Nas is gonna be our DJ for the next cities here in the USA. So DJ Nas is coming now. Also, I wanna give a huge thank you to everyone who came out today in Toronto. You guys gave me like a lot of shirts, a lot of candy, a lot of chocolate, a lot of letters. Thank you guys so, so much. Let me tell you guys what happened today in the Toronto show. So I came out, I performed, Slim performed, then we performed together, and it was going wild. Like you guys, you guys were so energized, so hyped. You guys weren't sitting down. So I mean, I don't mind that. I love when you guys stand up and turn up anyways. But the venue lady, the venue owner of the place we were at, she kept being really strict and like out of nowhere she like spoke in the microphone in the back when no one's even allowed to speak in the microphone other than me, Slim, Nas, and the DJ. I don't know, she spoke, she spoke, she was like, everyone needs to sit down or else we're gonna shut down the show now. And then when she said that, I'm like, girl, like, girl, you ain't shutting down no show. Like, you're not gonna shut down nothing. And I even looked at some of you guys in the crowd, I was like, this lady's not gonna shut down nothing. Like, what did they do? All they did was stand up. So all you guys started booing her, the owner of the whole venue. I've never met her in my life, but you guys all started booing her. And I was dying laughing because that was so savage and she deserved that boo because it wasn't even that big of a deal if people are standing up and, and like turning up. At the end of the show, me and Slim were gonna go through the crowd again, but she got angry that we went through the crowd. I don't know, she was literally thinking of like anything that what me and Slim did to get herself angry. And I thought Canadians were nice, but you guys were nice, it's just that one lady. So we were supposed to do the meet and greet on the stage in Toronto, but then after that she made it a whole mission to do it at this other spot where it was so hot. And then me, Nas, and Slim were just like, like what, is, what is she doing? The venue of Nagala was beautiful. Everything was amazing. The seats was amazing. It was just her. She was just really, I don't know, just really like, she just didn't like us because our fans and the Doomy Gang and Slimmy Gang, all you guys were just insane and loud and she wasn't used to that, I guess. So she gave us a place to do the meeting greet. I agreed. I was like, okay, cool. We'll do the meeting greet there. And then she gave us a security. Usually we'll have our own security or like Nas or DJ It's still take care of us, but she gave us a security. I was like, why not, you know, let him, you know, help us out. But one thing I hate, like literally one thing that I hate so much is when security guards are really, really rude, like in a very disrespectful way. Like I understand if a security guard is saying, like it's being respectful, like, oh, you need to hurry up, please. There's a long line in the back, please, if you can, can you like go a little faster? Like I understand security guards who do that. That's okay, that's respectful. But this security guard today in Toronto, was, I don't know if there's something wrong with his head, but he was being very rude to like, to you guys, to a little young girl. There was this young girl, her name was Sahar. She's the one that kind of snitched on the guy and told me that he was talking crap to her. Sahar told me, I love you. And then I told her, I love you too. And that security guard that I've never met in my life, who is he to say that? Like he doesn't even, he has no clue who I am, I've never met him in my life. And that girl Sahar, like, and you guys, I love you guys truly with like all my heart. I don't know if you guys see it, but like in the meeting greets, whenever I meet you guys, like I wanna show love and like appreciation, attention to every single one of you guys because I truly, deeply love you guys so, so much. How you gonna say that? So I went up to the security, I was like, bro, are you seriously saying that? And he stayed quiet, he didn't know what to say. So I told him, I was like, yo, don't, don't speak to like, you know, any of you guys like that, because if you do, I'm gonna end up just like kicking you out out of your own place, out of your own building that you work in. Because we had the venue rented for us, you know, the Adam Salah show throughout the whole day, and I didn't want anyone in there that's saying disrespectful things to you guys. So I waited a little bit more, and then once again, he was rude to you guys, just being disrespectful for no reason, no reason at all. Like, you guys didn't do nothing bad, and he's there being disrespectful. So I ended up kicking him out, and I told him to literally leave. I'm so, so sorry, Toronto, to the few people that were around there and seeing that happen. I just do not like when people are disrespectful like that. If you're a security guard, it doesn't mean you have to show that, like, you own the world. Like, hey, you, hey, you, get out there. Like, relax, man, chillax. 
It just means chill. You're just there just to be there just in case. You're not taking over or controlling everyone. Other than that, Toronto was amazing. Everyone in the meet and greet was literally so much fun. I'm so sorry once again for even bringing that negative vibe, but it just got to me today because a lot of you guys are like, Adam, wow, why would you call him dumb? Oh my God, why would you say that? It's just what he did and what he said to a Doomy gang, to my family, was so disrespectful and I don't accept that in this property, in this hood. Seriously, Toronto is like one of the top, top cities after this whole tour. I'm gonna give you guys, I don't know, a top 10 or a top five loudest city thingy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go turkey. Thank you guys so, so much for your love and support. I'm gonna see you guys in Dearborn tomorrow, then Chicago, then Minneapolis, then Dallas, and then Houston, and then the tour is done. I love you guys so, so much. Take care and peace. I love you. Oh, hey, fighting all day, yelling all night, hear it in the hallway She said, you'll be alive until you cry Yeah, that's what they all say I'm about to go missing, thinking how